Why are narcissists so angry? One thing you may notice with most narcissists is that they are always angry. They are always experiencing a strong feeling of annoyance, displeasure or hostility. Which then makes them want to hurt someone or be unpleasant to them. What is the reason for this? Why are narcissists always so angry? The reason why narcissists are always so angry is because they can't get their way. They can't get or have what they want. Which makes them especially angry when they see that you or someone else is getting or having what they want. It makes them feel like it's unfair. As though they have not been treated in an equal way. And in their minds, it feels like you are hurting them. You are causing them pain and distress. Because they have the things that they need. But they are unable to fulfill their needs. And when they witness you being able to get and have what you want. While they can't get or have what they want. It's unfair to them. They feel like it's unjust. And in their minds, you are to blame for this lack of fairness or justice. They have to blame you. They have to get mad at you. Because it's either that or they get mad at themselves. But they're not going to do that because it's too painful for them to accept responsibility for where they are in life. It's much easier to put the blame onto someone else and hold them accountable for their pain. Even though you did nothing to them, and you may not have had any intention of hurting them. You could just be in the wrong place at the wrong time and become a target of someone who feels threatened by their own perception of your superiority. And then they begin to show opposition to you or they may even be confrontational. People tend to be negative when they are envious or jealous. When they believe that you have something that they want. And when narcissists see someone who has something better than what they have or something that they want, they feel like it's very unfair. It makes them mad. Because they're arrogant and entitled. They have an exaggerated sense of their own abilities and importance. So they believe that they are inherently deserving of whatever they want. But if you have something that they decide to have, they believe that you must not be deserving of it. Because for them to believe that you are deserving of whatever you have, it would mean that they are not deserving of it. It would mean that they lack the capabilities and potential to achieve or obtain at the same level that you can. 
it would mean that something is wrong with them or that they are not good enough. And that's what this comes down to. Their own feelings of self-hatred and insignificance which they are doing everything they can to avoid reflecting on. But whenever you present yourself to them, it resurfaces these emotions. They feel inferior to you. They feel like you are better than they are. Whether it's in your character or personality, your way of thinking or behaving, your interests or ideals, capabilities and potential, achievements or possessions. There is something about you that makes them feel inferior to you. Something that makes them wish they were you. And at the same time, not only do they wish that they were you, or that they could get or have what you do, but deep down they also know that it is something they will never experience. And that is what makes them so painful for them. That is what makes them so mad. It's knowing that while you're sitting back, munching on a five course dinner every day, they will forever be stuck with the crumbs. And that is what creates the sense of injustice. That is what makes them feel like it is so unfair. That is what makes them experience such anger towards you. When you see someone who is getting or having what they want, it is actually very normal and healthy to observe this and think, where's mine? Yes, it is slightly narcissistic, but it is also very healthy and essential to our survival. If we neglected our own needs, we wouldn't be able to survive. But where it does get unhealthy is when we observe people who are getting or having what they want and then we display anger or hatred towards them. That is not okay. And that is actually very unfair. But that is exactly what narcissists do and they think that it is okay. The healthy way to respond to this situation is to appreciate what the other person has and then be grateful for what you have. Instead of constantly comparing yourself to other people. Because there will always be people who have more. Just as there will always be people who have less. But focusing on what other people have is not going to get you what you want. It is not going to help you to survive. Unless you plan on taking it from them. Which again is not okay. 
That is very unfair. And we should have evolved past that point of taking things that don't belong to us. We have all of the tools inside of us to create the life that we want and deserve. So there's really no need to be angry towards anyone. There's no need to hate on them. When you do that, you're actually just postponing your own success. You're sending a message to the universe that you don't appreciate success. When if you were to just appreciate it, you would then be tuning into the frequency of your own success. You would then be attracting that into your own life. Be happy for people who are successful. Just as you would want people to be happy for you when you succeed. Being angry doesn't solve anything. But of course, that's just what narcissists do. And it just makes them even more mad. It just makes them hate themselves even more. But that is not your fault. And it is not your responsibility. They are responsible for how they feel. And they are responsible for how they behave. But just know that when you are getting or having what you want, it will trigger the narcissist. It will make them angry and hateful towards you. And you will need to be cautious around them as you never know how they might react. The best thing you can do is to leave the narcissist and go no contact. Because they're never going to be happy for you. They're never going to celebrate your success. But you can move on and do that on your own. And when you do that, you will attract people who are also happy for themselves. People who also celebrate their own success. And then you will realize why it never worked with the narcissist. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcissistcoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.